As a grower, we're looking for varieties that they can come up with that will uh, make us more profitable. That can uh, I'm looking for varieties that are earlier, that uh, that uh, mature quicker, and we can get a yield that we can still be profitable. That's one of the issues that we have. Most of the varieties that we raise are from the west in the United States, where they have a long season, 140 days. As you all know, in this country, we sometimes don't get 140 days. Sometimes we don't get 120 days. So we need varieties that will. Uh, uh, mature out and be profitable. Dakota Russet, for instance, is one of the ones we're hoping that will make McDonald's. So right now it's one of the main varieties, getting to be one of the main varieties for uh, some other processors. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. So there's a big success story in that. Uh, there's other varieties there that, uh, Anna Susie, did you talk about? Is there any, is there any varieties here on this uh, table right now that you think is, uh, that could, could make the cut? I guess I sort of mentioned that there's a number of them over there that, you know, have good potential. Pick one. Um, <laughs> that's like having to pick out of all of your kids. Pick but one. Well, today I would say the 12154 probably has the, you know, one of the greatest potentials, but the, the new, one of those new ones, the 1428... Sixes, they both look really good too, or one of them is the higher yielding, dash seven rus. So, so, so how many years does it take from the time you, you uh, make the cross before they become uh, commercial? Minimally 10 years, but usually it takes a bit closer to 15 to 20, and part of that has to do with the industry is very discerning and also with PVP, there's a lot more things that we need to know before people are willing and able to take that economic risk. So I gotta wait 20 years yet to uh, see that and get named? <laughs> well, for like the, um, the ND 1400 numbers, those are already six years through the process. So, so maybe not 20. So on behalf of NDSU's administrative team, I want to welcome uh, everyone to the field day. Very proud of our potato uh, efforts here and especially the collaboration that we have with uh, Carl. Thank you for uh, hosting us here and the research that we do. Donovan, thank you for all the efforts we've got with uh, NPPGA and we really, uh, really do appreciate uh, all of those working relationships that we have to really bring the research and the extension effort out to producers. And so that's so important uh, to the state of North Dakota and to our agricultural industry. Uh, and we want to see that continue to grow over time. Uh, to the students that are here working on all these projects, the postdocs, thank you for all the efforts uh, related to these research programs. It's really important uh, work that you're doing and a great learning opportunity to be here for the field day. And so on behalf of uh, all of our team at NDSU, uh, welcome and uh, have a great day.